Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to Valheim. We are continuing our search for leather, our never-ending search for enough leather. We are now basically completely naked. We have some trunks on, and that's it. All of our gear is broken. And so yeah, we have to come out here with the hope of finding some boars, and you guys have given me some tips, which mainly was to try to sneak up on the deer, uh, which we can definitely do. Last episode, we learned how to dodge roll. So, that's, that's huge. And, uh, crouching is the control key. So we do know how to sneak, we do know how to dodge roll now. Uh, and so we can try to sneak up on some deer. I don't know if one swing of our axe, uh, is gonna put down a deer, but... Alright, at this point I'm basically willing to try anything. Uh, because if we don't get some kind of leather going soon, we're, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah, we have three pieces right now, but we need a ton. We need to make a bow, we need leather for that, we need to make more gear, we need leather for that. And as you can kind of see, I'm not really coming across a lot of sources of leather. It's... I don't know if I'm looking at the wrong time of day or something like that. But it's, it's been rather rough, actually. I don't know if it's intended to be this hard to get the rudiments of gear together, but it has been. And it could be that I just don't have a very good idea of where to find... Uh, deer and boar. I'm looking in a lot of the same places we've looked previously and sometimes we find a boar here and there. We've come across deer and yeah it's probably more prevalent at certain times of day and maybe I just need to learn those things. Alright, I see a deer down here. Let's see if there is any way we can get behind this thing and just kind of clobber it. There we go. We're getting deer hide. We're not really getting leather from the deer, are we? I don't know if I have any recipes for deer hide. We can build a Yule tree. That's cool. Sounds like we've got some new music that also sounds amazing. Just for that little area though, apparently we're back to the back to the original soundtrack here. Which is still amazing. Oh look at this. It's like a ruined tower. Register the location. Okay. Hmm. Guess we already knew the location of that. Wonder what this is doing out here exactly. Surprisingly, we haven't run into any dangerous enemies over here. I should probably not say that and jinx us, but it's true. Oh, look at that. I do see a, a gray dwarf over here. Oh, he's got a two star. I don't think we've ever fought anybody with two stars. I also see one up here. I bet as soon as we... Oh, he sees us. Oh, I want one of these deer. Oh, 
No! Okay, this is probably not a situation we want to be in. Ouch. Okay, that's bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad things are happening to us. Oh, uh, we're gonna die back here, aren't we? Uh, I need to get some more food going. There we go. Oh, no! <laughs> God. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's a long way. We were, we were pretty far there. And we didn't accomplish anything, actually. Didn't accomplish a darn thing, did we? Are we going to be able to get back to that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> We're certainly going to try. Uh, yeah, we we came a long way. And w even if we get back to our body, we will have nothing to show for it. Uh, we got some deer skin that we can't use for any gear right now or anything. And now we kind of know that that's a really dangerous area. Yeah, and now we're going to be kiting this guy for the entire time. I wish that eventually enemies would kind of leave you alone. I know it's probably not realistic to say that. But, you know, it is a video game. <laughs> it would be nice if you ran, you know, halfway across the known map that an enemy would just leave you alone. Look, these guys are on us. These are the same guys. Oh, we just went through like a den of them is the problem, right? Yeah, we're gonna get our body, but there's no guarantee we don't just get killed by a rock to the back of the head like we did last time. Oh, we got our items back. We, we didn't equip anything, of course. Alright, yeah, it's time to get out of here, right? It's time to get out of here. This is what we did before when we messed up. Oh, no. All the buttons, guys. All the buttons. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't try to go into your menu while running. Oh my gosh. This is not good. We are in really bad shape. I am clearly just doing the game wrong, guys. It's becoming pretty obvious to me that I have no idea what I'm doing. There's probably a really easy way to gear up and to progress. I just haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, like, we need you. I need you to... There we go. Didn't get anything useful out of that except a deer trophy. We're gonna kite all these guys back home, and then I, I guess we're gonna have to try to fight them all. Might be a little easier out in the open, but I still foresee serious problems. Still foresee serious problems. I need to be able to come in here. There we go. What happens if we just go inside and hide? Will they destroy our house? Is that what's gonna happen? Are they gonna destroy the house? Oh, okay. Yeah, we have we have nothing. Can't do anything. I 
I feel like there should be plenty of boar just kind of hanging out right in our little valley here, but uh, that has not been the case so far. Okay, so we know that's too far. We, we can't go that way. We've died there. Uh, I'm kind of not really seeing where else we can really explore without imminent threat of death. It does look like they stopped following us, though, at some point. Uh, so I do appreciate that. Unless they're, like, back at our house right now destroying it. Uh, which they could be. Oh, we scared that deer so bad, like, there was no way we were ever gonna get to him. That's a boulder. Yeah, we're not good at hunting things. I don't have a lot of patience for, like, permanently stealthing around. Like, that's just a really, really slow way to move through the world. I, I don't think that I could move like this for very long, but at the same time, we keep rounding corners and startling deer. Do you think he saw us? <laughs> Gee, I don't know. Okay, yeah, we should have just... Oh, good, we're not wielding anything. That's perfect. Sometimes you just have to rely on the animal being stupid and, like, running into you, which it, it's not often gonna happen like that. I'm just gonna chase him to my death here. I'm sure he's gonna lead me right into a bunch of enemies. Uh, but I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. He's clearly... Yeah, he's not gonna stop. He's gone. Uh, yeah, I'd say my biggest feedback so far is that, yeah, we need more sources of leather. That's like the biggest gripe I have with the game right now, is that I, I don't feel like I can progress at all. I don't feel like I can build gear, I can't build a bow, and if I can't build a bow, I can't get more leather, which means I can't progress. I'm just having a, a pretty hard time with that aspect of it. Like, as far as building, I don't really want to build more right now, because I feel like... Oh, shit. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, stealth means nothing to you. No! Shit. Jesus. Okay. What do you want? Delves and dungeons can be found across the Tenth World. They are monuments of the past, and most have often filled with the riches of civilizations long lost. Remember to bring a light source. Yeah, I don't want to do this right now, do I? This sounds like an amazingly good way to get killed. Yeah, I can't do this. I can't justify doing this until we have some freaking clothes on our backs, right? I'll try to remember where it's at. Not being able to put... Oh, wait, what did I just do? Guys, did you... Did you see that? There's... Okay, I can put a marker. Oh, I double click. Okay, we can put markers. Okay, perfect. Let's put a marker here. Oh, okay. Finally. This is what I was trying to figure out. We can double click to put a marker down. Okay, let's... Let's use this little icon for dungeons. So there's a dungeon here. Okay. Well, it's like kind of right on us. Let's let's do that. And that way we'll come back if we ever get any gear and, you know, like a sword or something. Maybe a shield even would be wonderful. All of it needs leather. I have been really bad about being able to get any leather. So I don't know if we're going to ever be able to do that dungeon or not. I wonder if, like, where you spawn in, like, how the world comes together determines, like, how much available resources you have access to. Like, could could you have a playthrough where you have a lot more boar than we have? Because we just need, like, a hundred boar <laughs> to be running through the woods. 
And then we might have a chance to get the leather that we need. But until that happens, this is it. We're just kind of scrounging around. Okay, I hear things. Oh, hi. Yeah, we've got a bunch of bad guys back there. We got a bunch of bad guys everywhere, and they're surrounding resources that I need. There's deer back here. I think there's a boar back there. Yeah, okay. Oh no! And here we go again, running for our lives. It's getting kind of old, actually. <laughs> I feel like we could take some of these guys if we had a shield and maybe some equipment. Yeah, the only way we do this is maybe if we lead them out here, uh, maybe we could fight them by the house. That's really all I can think of. It's incredibly annoying that he won't come out here where we could actually fight him. Uh, I, I don't like that. Sometimes they'll follow you for a lot longer, but yeah, he, come on. Yeah, let's just get this done. Let's do it right down here by the house. And that way when you kill us, uh, we can respawn easily. Come on. Ouch. We really, like, there's no leeway. You know, we can't even really get a hit in. We have to do that. I can get one hit in at a time if I'm really careful. I have to dodge, hit, and dodge. Yep, and that was me just dodging as fast as I could, guys. I'm not quick enough or something. Something's going on. I, I'm not quick enough. Dodge takes like a long time to get it to actually go off. I don't know how we could get any lighter. You'd think we'd have the fastest dodge roll in the world. Also, having to press, having to block in order to dodge is bad. <laughs> I have to say that. Having to do this in order to dodge is bad. I kind of prefer a dodge roll that just has a button I can press. I don't want to have to be blocking. I want block to be block and I want dodge to be dodge. And I kind of just prefer those things to be two entirely separate things. So that's making life a lot more difficult as well. Uh, getting a hang of the combat has been a difficult process for me. Uh, as you can see, I'm still no good at it. Uh, and it's mainly because of the whole... When, when I attack, I have to get my dodge up and then roll. As opposed to being able to attack and then just roll out of the way. It's an extra button you have to push. And it's an extra action that has to go off. And that was too much time with that guy. He had enough time to recover from being hit and hit us before we could uh, before we could dodge out of the way. It's kind of unfortunate. I'm re I really like the game a lot. I think it's a beautiful game. 
I like enjoying the I like exploring the world. It's very enjoyable just to kind of see new things and new areas. Every time we get into a clearing and the light hits the grass and the wind rustles the leaves, I feel like yeah, this is a great world to to be in. Uh, but not being able to make any progression is kind of uh, it's kind of hurting the experience for me to be honest. Let's go back and let's just sleep and let's wake up the next day and see what what we can do. I don't have a lot of directions that I can go that might be safe. Maybe we can check out down here. Uh, we've we've uncovered startlingly little of the map, but don't really know what else to do about it. Okay, uh, yeah. Maybe maybe we come over here a ways. I don't know, I don't even know if we'll get a ways before we get attacked by uh, millions of angry graylings. Oh, stealthing takes stamina. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. You're, you're crouched down. That's going to take some stamina, I guess. Moving slowly would definitely require some kind of focus. So, okay, sure. I want to cut more to the west here. Oh no! Ah, oh, failure! Damn it! Didn't have our weapon out. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's just unfamiliarity with the controls at this point. There we go, one scrap of leather. How lucky are we? See, this is the Black Forest area. I noticed that now up on the mini-map, and we were kind of told that that was a dangerous area to be in so maybe that's why we're running into all the enemies like the guys back there okay we're out see ya yeah we're not dealing with you either there we go yeah the deer aren't giving us leather I, I, I don't know if that's intentional or random or what it is so yeah, we need to stay in the meadows area. I'm learning now that I need to be looking up at the minimap and seeing what area it says that we're in. Have we found this stone yet? I don't remember this one. On this spot of tree... Yeah, yeah, okay. So we've... We've read this one. Uh, I thought I saw... I thought I saw a boar back here. Did you guys see the boar? 
Here it is. Everything's so dense. Maybe you guys could like share some of your experiences with me, like how long did it take you to feel like you had your feet under you in this game? I just don't want to get too discouraged early on if it's normal for it to take a long time to get your initial resources together, but yeah, not being able to get leather to even make clothes has left me feeling pretty discouraged. But when I log in and we're absolutely naked and I'm like a couple hours in, I'm like, oh, okay, well... Oh, we're in the Black Forest again. I need to start to recognize the visual difference. The music changes too, which is what tipped me off just there. So yeah, let's let's get back into the meadow, shall we? All right, down here we are considered in the meadows. Oh, hi. Hi there. Ah, this is the Black Forest. So this is like the edge right here. I don't think we can go any further to the east. Yeah, without being considered in the Black Forest. Oh, it's a neck. Okay. Yeah, we've seen those before. It looked a little bit weird from far away. I didn't recognize it. Flint. All right, fighting on an incline. Fighting on an incline, bad. You never want your enemy to have the high ground, I guess. There we go, we'll take the high ground. Thank you very much. Maybe we need to build a raft soon. I, I kind of want to see like what's just across the little river here. Uh, oh, this is considered the Black Forest. Once again. So the Black Forest is kind of all around us. We are finding more boar, so I, I'm, I'm getting slowly a little bit more optimistic about our chances of doing anything. I just know we need a lot because we need some for our clothing, we need some to make a bow, we need some to make a shield. Come on now. Uh, we broke our weapon. And something's happening. I don't know what's happening. 
I don't know what the noises are. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here now. What in the hell is that? Okay, it's a giant troll. We have pissed off a giant troll. I'm pretty sure we're going to die. Let's get as close to home as we can. Oh, my dear lord. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what is that? Oh, God, we've done it now. Okay, the troll is giving up. The troll is giving up. Oh, God, this weapon is not going to cut it. Can I? I can't craft anything else right now besides this. Okay, okay, the troll's coming back. How is he getting through all these trees? Is he just knocking them down? I think he is. Okay, so far out to the east equals troll. Or, yeah, no, far to the west even. Whew, okay. Yeah, I think we're relatively safe here. Let's let's get back to base. Let's let's get back. We just need to get back. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was exciting. Oh, we don't even have enough flint, uh, firstly. And there we go, we made a tunic. We have no pants still. Can go ahead and equip that at least. And maybe we could find some flint uh, along the coast. Or not. Uh, let's see, here we go. Alright, not sure what happened there. Uh, I can't attack him? I don't know what- oh, we're out of stamina. We're out of stamina, that makes sense.
Yeah, we're just we're just not very sneaky, I guess. That's like part of the overall problem here. Uh, I don't know how much further I want to come this way. Did he just not give us any items at all? Is that what really happened just now? That's uh, that's pretty lame. Pretty lame of him. Uh, yeah, it looks like darkness... Oh, rain has come in. Yeah, rain has come. And a storm. We are wet. Alright, I think this is our first storm that we've had. Uh, might be a good idea to get back to our house. Ugh, come on! Ugh! Oh man. Alright, let's go for the boar instead. Yeah, see, sometimes they don't drop any leather at all. I basically need them to be dropping leather 100% of the time. And they definitely aren't. There's no way he hears us with the storm, right? No way he hears us. Here we go. Oh, big whiff. Alright. Let's go back. Let's go back home. If we had a bow, we'd probably be able to take out most of these guys. Well, it does make sense that we can't uh, have a fire in the rain. That, that does make some sense, yep. Okay guys, we've got our tunic and trousers back. We are clothed once again. Our next goal is going to be eight more pieces of leather for our bow. That's what we're going to aim for next. We'll see if we can do it next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. I really do appreciate all the support on the series. If you have any tips or knowledge that can help us kind of progress a little bit faster, I would love to hear from you. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Valheim really soon. Bye now.